Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can use AutoMapper to ignore a mapping for a property. This is a course that continues on a previous course where I display how to use AutoMapper. So please look at the previous tutorial if you have time or if you want to know about AutoMapper. I will put in my description uh, for the previous tutorial. But let's begin. I have an entity class called product. In this class I have an ID, name and a secret. And then I have a DTO with product ID and name. So if I start this um, API now. Starting here, let's start, try it out, execute. We are getting a product. Uh, and we have the ID and it's a product. And then we are mapping it to a product DTO. And we're getting it's a product and ID 1. I don't want to map the name anymore. I want to ignore that part because we have taken a business decision where, where this has been decided. So in our profile, we can create another configuration where we say from, dest from member, we say to destination, destination, what field? Yeah, the product ID. And what is going to happen is that from our source, we say source.ignore. So now we are going to try to map the product. No, uh, sorry, I mean name. We're going to ignore the name. So now from the destination, which is a product DTO, we are trying to map product DTO name, uh, product name to product DTO name, but we are ignoring that mapping here. And with the help of reverse map, we are also ignoring from product DTO to product uh, with the property name. So if I start this API now, and I say API start, we are getting the product name here, but we, will we be able to map it? No, you see the name is null. So we have not been able to map the name. Okay, thank you for watching this tutorial. Bye bye.